captured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events right here in Scotland County. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in Scotland County, it's on right here. And welcome to Carolina and Company Live. We're right here on the road in Scotland County. And right now, Domino's Mobile Kitchen. They're cranking out all kinds of pizza. Let me tell you, Domino's is unbelievable. They get involved in a lot of stuff. They travel around. They do appreciation day here, there, everywhere. And this mobile trailer goes out and goes to a lot of events, too. So That's they're right. really involved in the community. They absolutely are. We've got a great show lined up for you guys. Stick around. We'll be back in just a few minutes. First Warning Weather with meteorologist Caitlin Wright. Wednesday to you. Let's go ahead and look at our patterns in the upper levels to say that we will be seeing more sunshine over the next few days as we're stuck in between two low pressures. This very strong upper level low is what just crossed over the Carolinas and brought quite a bit of rainfall. Now we also have a pretty strong low pressure that's out to the west and that's going to increase cloud coverage slightly. But in terms of temperatures, we're going to see a pretty big warm up as that upper level low pushes northeastward. We'll be heating up as a Bermuda high will build into our area, especially Saturday and heading into Sunday. We'll see temperatures nearing 90 degrees inland. Not so much 90s as we head through your Wednesday, but it's still going to be pretty nice really across our entire area. Only climbing into the low 80s across the PD and along the border belt. No 80s right along the Grand Strand or North Strand, but South Strand just almost reaching that 80 degree mark there in Georgetown, Polly's Island and Garden City, but right along the Grand Strand and Myrtle Beach, 78. So speaking of the beaches, it's going to be a pretty nice beach day because we haven't really been able to enjoy those days. Monday and Tuesday changes on the way as our winter action is shifting as we're tracking through the morning hours heading into the afternoon. We'll be seeing those winds out of the south southeast at just about five to 10 miles per hour. So winds not going to be an issue in these partly cloudy skies turning mostly sunny as we head through the afternoon. High temperatures along the beaches in the upper 70s, especially in the Myrtle Beach area. Our water temperature is just going to be in the 70s, so it's still a little bit chilly. UV index is still high at about an eight and a nine. Here's your Grand Strand seven day forecast 78 for your Wednesday well into the 80s as we head through the rest of the work week. Even heading into the weekend, it's going to be gorgeous. Any outdoor plans, go ahead and keep those on a dragon boat race on Saturday. It's going to be nice and hot, so make sure you're staying hydrated and again wearing that sunscreen. Your inland seven day forecast 83 for your Wednesday, well into the upper 80s by Friday, along with mostly sunny skies. Check out Saturday and Sunday, though, as far as low temperatures in the upper 60s. It's going to be even mild at night and heading into the early morning hours, but by Saturday and Sunday, high temperatures temperatures just nearing 90 degrees. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And hello everybody, welcome to Carolina and Company Live. We're on the road up in the Laurenburg area and talking about on the road. We're on Domino's the road. Domino's Pizza is on the road. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the Domino's Mobile Kitchen. We're talking a little bit to Mark about the Mobile Kitchen, but also you guys did something last week at Appreciation Day. First, tell me about that. Absolutely. We like to come out every once in a while and show our appreciation for the folks that help out in our communities. So last week we chose the first responders, police and firefighters, and the teams that support them. Very so cool. we set up out at the Emergency Operations Center, handing out free slices of pizza and cold drinks to any and all that come and see us. How long did wow, y'all do fantastic. that for? Well, we've been doing this off and on for quite a while. Really? We, we actually got this trailer in commission back in 2011. So we've been rolling this thing around town ever since, five, six years now. Now, last Very week, y'all had a line of people coming out, I'm sure. They came in droves. There was a little bit of a wave here and a little bit of a wave there, but we were serving from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock, and it just accommodated as many of them as possible. Awesome. Fantastic. All right, tell us a little bit about the truck. You guys go to different events, Special Olympics, all that kind of stuff? Absolutely. We will be at the Special Olympics here in Scotland County handing out free pizza then, but we also take this out for fairs, festivals, football games, sporting events, uh, all manner of things. We're also quite involved with it whenever the need arises. Since it's a self-sufficient unit with propane and gasoline on board, we're not relying on power anywhere. 
came in extremely handy after Hurricane Matthew. Oh, I bet so. Yeah. People needed food. This was a great place to. That's right. When there it. was no other electricity around, we were able to turn this machine on in the Laurenburg parking lot, and for three days we were providing pizzas to the community. Once the power came back up in Laurenburg, we took it out to Pembroke and set it up there for another couple of days. But it's those kinds of things that we like to do with this, and uh, we're, we're very involved in our communities here and have been for a very long time. Well, giving back to the community, I'm talking about, you know, all that pizza y'all get. How many pizzas do you think y'all gave away during Appreciation Day? During the Appreciation Day, to th this last week, we gave away about 65 or so pizzas. Wow. Yeah. That's so everybody good. comes up, they're going to get a slice of something to drink. A couple of slices and a drink, that's right. All right, sounds good. Now tell us a little bit about the Domino's location um, here in Laurenburg. Here in Laurenburg, our, our, our headquarters location for our organization. Uh, when we saw you last year, we had seven yeah. stores, and since that time we've expanded to nine stores. Oh, so wow. we're still growing. Our headquarters location in Laurenburg is our pizza theater with those 34 gorgeous seats in it. We have our corporate offices and a training center in the back of that store as well. All right, now Fantastic. how long have you been with Domino's? I've been with this particular Domino's group for two years now. Uh, the owner, John Ridge, and I go back to Florida 30 years ago, and I've been, I started my Domino's career in 1982. Yeah, John, making pizzas, right? I've been making pizzas uh, for a very long time, <laughs> yes. And John has a house also in Surfside. He does right, indeed. Uh, the perks of being a franchise owner of a nine-store group, absolutely. Well, that is amazing. We appreciate you doing this, and uh, we, we love everything that y'all do when you get involved in the community. Yep, great because job. Because people remember that, and they say, hey, Domino's came out, and they get an appreciation day. That's right. That's, That's right. what it's all about, being it's involved a, in the community you're in and giving back. All right, for those who don't know where Domino's is, where are you located right here? In the actual address is 1712 US 401 South. That is um, 401 next to the Huddle House, right in the downtown area there. Fantastic. Now, if anybody's interested in trying to arrange for this trailer to be used, all they've got to do is call our store uh, in Laurenburg at 910-276-4440, and they can ask for Terry Knight. Oh. Fantastic, and you guys can come out to their location, their event, you can get that arranged. Call Terry for bookings and scheduling, but call early because it books up fast, especially in the fall. Thanks, Mark. Right. appreciate Thank it, Thank you so Thank much. Thank you all. All right, you guys stick around. We'll be back with more on the road here in Scotland County. The Laurenburg Maxton Airport Industrial Park in Scotland County includes over 4,000 acres of prime industrial sites with almost 1,800 acres ready for industrial and commercial development. The industrial park offers full service infrastructure that includes a newly renovated runway, plus water, sewer, electric, and natural gas. So whether you're looking to build or simply expanding your current business, we invite you to come join the many businesses that already call the industrial park home. Call today. Looking for a wonderful shopping experience? Then shop downtown Laurenburg. Hungry? Visit 215 on Main for a quick meal. Shirt Tales specializes in personalized garments for school, churches, clubs, and more. Find the perfect tuxedo rental and more at Harley's Tuxedo and Gifts. From trendy to obscure, you can find the perfect gift at Scotland Bling. If it's happening in Scotland County, you'll hear it first on 95.1, your hometown radio, WLNC. Shop downtown Laurenburg. This is not some place you have to be. This is a place that you want to be. Oh. You get that feeling when you come in that, wow, I'm home. People that live in neighborhoods, they come and say, oh my gosh, I mean, it's so well developed. Six o'clock this morning, I was in the fitness center. We'll be tomorrow, walk in the days in between, swim. Enthusiasm, that's what they have here, enthusiasm. So come on down and join us. We'd love to have you. I have to go. It's Domino's. With Domino's Tracker, you know when to expect your pizza. Looking for this? You just have to be there to get it. Yeah. Order and track your pizza with Domino's Tracker. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live on the road up in Laurenburg. And uh, the man is with us now from the chamber. 
that puts all this together for us. Chris is here, and That's we're right. going to find out about some things he's got coming up. That's right. Always something happening with the Chamber, and if you're not a member of the Chamber, you need to be. Chris, tell us what's going on. We've got some uh, member events coming up. These are things that we've talked about on the show before, but I really would just want to remind anybody, you know, everybody, because this is a pretty special weekend coming up. Uh, April 29th, we've got the Scotland Memorial Fun Run for Life. Right. Uh, we've talked about that on the show before. It's a huge event. I think it's the 13th uh, annual year for this event. Um, it is helped sponsored by Service Thread. Uh, it's a, a, it's a, what is this? It's a 5K run walk, right. a one mile run walk. Uh, it's a fun run. There's plenty of things to do for the kids. Uh, so, you know, we're trying to encourage everybody to come on out and uh, just, just again, it's a, a reminder. And, and funds from that go to the Scotland Memorial Fund. The Scotland Memorial Foundation, Great. correct. Uh, also, that same day, a little bit later on in the morning, we've got the Spring Fest, which is sponsored by the City of Laurenburg and the uh, Scotland County Arts Council. Okay. That's going to be right here downtown Laurenburg. We're going to block off the streets. Uh, have a, a it's a Spring Fest here in the Art Garden. Cool. And uh, you know, there, like there, a chalk there, contest or a, something. That's right. There's a uh, a chalk art competition. There are going to be uh, food vendors and craft vendors throughout the day, cool. concerts all day long. Um, we're going to have a, a, a concert later on that night. It's a uh, No No Clay and the IQ. Cool. And it's going to be a fun field day for everybody. So and it's open to everybody. It's open to everybody. Everybody. That's right. All right. Now it starts like on the big spring fest starts later on in the afternoon. At 1030. At 1030 that morning and we'll okay. go till 6 o'clock. All right, Very so good. there's a lot of things coming up. Now, somebody watching that up in the Lauren area would like to join the chamber. How can they do that? Please? Just contact us at the chamber. It's 910-276-7420. And that's another way to be on this show. You join the chamber. That gives you the opportunity for us to come out to your business and see everything that you have to offer the Laurenburg, Scotland County area. Right? That's right. We've got a lot of things going on in this community, and uh, I just I want to see everybody get in, as involved as they can. All right, now it's so exciting. You're increasing numbers all the time for the chamber because of this show, because yeah, we get absolutely. to visit a lot of places up here, and yep. without Chris putting all this together, you and I would be lost. I we, just want you to know We that. sure lost <laughs> in the art garden somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of cool things coming up. Once again, the fun run uh, for Scotland Memorial. That's right. That starts uh, at, that start, registration, or late registration starts at 6 o'clock that morning on the 29th. Okay. And uh, I, I think it goes through, uh, you know, different events go, through, go on throughout the day. I think they stop around 10. And then the, uh, the art festival here downtown starts at 1030. That's going to be pretty cool. That's the first that's, annual, right? That's right. So big things are going to happen, but it probably even bigger for next year because I'm sure Abs it's going to be a great turnout. Absolutely. That's what we hope to build on. You know, I, and I'm going to go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. We plan uh -oh. on having a concert that Friday night next year before this event. So okay. we're going to make it, make a, it a weekend, a event. weekend event. Exactly. All well, right. there's a lot of fun stuff going on right here in the Laurenburg area. You want to know more about it, you need to contact Chris and he can help you set up these things. Anything you've got going on in this area, this man can do it. You don't mind putting it all together for him? Not at all. We, we, I love doing it. It's, uh, it's something I love doing. I love putting on this show every week. That's right. I, I enjoy spending time with you guys. I get feedback all the time. Cool. Uh, when people that, that have uh, been on the show, they tell me that uh, people say, hey, I saw you on the show. <laughs> so uh, cool. that's, that's something I look forward to hearing from. That makes you feel good. It and does. This is, and this way. is your hometown, this right? Is, this is my hometown. Yep. You grew up here. That's born, right. Born and raised. A lot of awesome. historical Thanks, stuff Chris. right here in the Laurenburg area. So if you want to know more about it, contact the Chamber about upcoming events and to become a member. That's right. We'll see you guys in just a minute. Whether you're a local or on your way home from the beach, stop in at Exit 184 Laurenburg. Feeling hungry? Then stop in for a quick bite at the Dog House Express. Order up a signature northern, southern, or hand-dipped corn dog. Need to get your car serviced? Then look no further than Haney's Tire and Recapping Service. Once you try us, we're sure you'll be back for more. And if you need a vehicle, stop in at Scotland Motors. You'll find over 400 pre-owned vehicles, and remember, go look at the rest, then come buy from the best. All right, we're at Nick's Pick Quick, and you guys, if you want anything, a snack, lunch, all kinds of stuff, this is the place to go. You can even sit down and eat your lunch, or you can pick it quick and run out the door. They've got fried chicken. And lots of sides. They've got pizza. They've got drinks. They've got nuts. You want an almond? No, thank you. They've got stuff for your car, too. And if you need a pick-me-up, they've got great coffee. Nick's Pick Quick. With 16 locations. One just around the corner from you. This is not some place you have to be. This is a place that you want to be. Oh. 
you get that feeling when you come in that, wow, I'm home. People that live in neighborhoods, they come and say, oh my gosh, I mean, it's so well developed. Six o'clock this morning, I was in the fitness center. We'll be tomorrow, walk in the days in between, swim. Enthusiasm, that's what they have here, enthusiasm. So come on down and join us. We'd love to have you. I have to go. It's Domino's. With Domino's Tracker, you know when to expect your pizza. Looking for this? You just have to be there to get it. Yeah. Order and track your pizza with Domino's Tracker. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back. We're on the road up in Laurenburg, North Carolina. Now we're visiting the RCC Workforce Development. And we're going to find out a little bit about what they do and how they can help you and all of us. That's right. Okay. You are the director now. Tell us what do you do on a daily basis? What, what is your job? We are trying to bridge the gap between um, learning and the community needs. So we are looking for any industries that need some training. So we do training such as plumbing, electrical, HVAC to get people into jobs to help the community grow. We also have some enrichment classes to um, that anyone can take for like cooking, um, any, any skill scuba type diving, yes. skill classes. So, mm -hmm. okay, so wait a minute. So a business or will come to you and say, these are the skills we need. Mm -hmm. Is that how it and works? And we Tell develop me. classes. We find instructors that can can teach those skills to the, the students. And um, we develop a schedule that works around the industry or um, the customer. And we just put the classes out there, let anyone take them, and hopefully they'll get a job from it. Now, how, how, do, you, how do you get the students to take the classes? How, how does that, how do the students come to you? We market it as hard as we can. We put it on Facebook, we put flyers out throughout the community, we send it to all of the industries, anything that, anywhere that it would be pertinent. So if a okay. new industry comes into town right now and they need 30 people, they'll come to you and they'll tell you what kind of work they need and you work it out and put it together. They, they, absolutely, we can do that. Um, we do have a director of customized training that handles a little more of those sorts of things where they have, he has some money that he can use to do the training for the initial setup for the industry. Okay. But um, if they need any smaller classes like forklift or anything like that where they just need a small certification, skill, skill mm -hmm, type certification, then we can do that. Okay, right. and you said you're working with the business right now. Tell me about that. They needed like some 50. They needed 50 forklift drivers trained. Wow. Um, before June. So they called yesterday. We um, set up five classes for 10 each and they're going to get trained and get in there before June and hopefully be successful. So if somebody's wow. watching right now and would like to be a fork truck driver, they need to get in touch with you. They can, yes. There are some job openings um, and there's the training so that even if they're not interested in the company that contacted me, there are some other ones available. Now, now do the people use this within their own business to get employees they already have higher levels of certifications as Absolutely. well? Absolutely. They do that. Um, they can tell us they need to grow these employees into certain like leadership or management okay. positions and we can provide that and sort that of training And that whole like also. work keys thing? Yes. We've talked about that before, I know, when we've been up here. We have work keys testing where um, the students have to score a certain sc score to be able to get into a position. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I tell you, this is amazing way you do this because there's so many people out there right now looking for jobs mm -hmm. and this is an opportunity to, to provide them with that and the companies and industries that come into the area look to you to help. Yes, sir. And Absolutely. that's amazing that mm -hmm. you can do that. Now, if somebody wants to get in contact uh, with you, a business, how do they get in contact with you guys? Um, my phone number is 910-410-1848, or you can email me at ajgillenwater at richmondcc.edu, or just call the Honeycutt Center. The and Honeycutt Center is, yeah, probably. Here in Laurenburg. Mm -hmm. All right, fantastic. Now, you're not from around here, right? Where do you I'm live? I'm not. I live in Hamlet. You live in Hamlet, but yes. you come up here and work and invest in the community. Yes, ma'am. And well, I love fantastic. it. Yes, well, I think awesome. you do a great job. All the I do, too. All the putting together for finding people work and helping industries find what they need. Yep, very yes. good. Thank you. We All thank right. you for that. Yes. All, All right, right you guys, stick around. We've got more coming up on the road here in the Scotland County area. See you in a minute.
The Lorenberg Maxton Airport Industrial Park in Scotland County includes over 4,000 acres of prime industrial sites, with almost 1,800 acres ready for industrial and commercial development. The industrial park offers full-service infrastructure that includes a newly renovated runway, plus water, sewer, electric, and natural gas. So whether you're looking to build or simply expanding your current business, we invite you to come join the many businesses that already call the industrial park home. Call today. Looking for a wonderful shopping experience? Then shop downtown Laurenburg. Hungry? Visit 215 on Main for a quick meal. Shirt Tales specializes in personalized garments for school, churches, clubs, and more. Find the perfect tuxedo rental and more at Harley's Tuxedo and Gifts. From trendy to obscure, you can find the perfect gift at Scotland Bling. If it's happening in Scotland County, you'll hear it first on 95.1, your hometown radio, WLNC. Shop downtown Laurenburg. This is not some place you have to be. This is a place that you want to be. You get that feeling when you come in that, wow, I'm home. People that live in neighborhoods, they come and say, oh my gosh, I mean, it's so well developed. Six o'clock this morning, I was in the fitness center. We'll be tomorrow, walk in the days in between, swim. Enthusiasm, that's what they have here, enthusiasm. So come on down and join us. We'd love to have you. I have to go. It's Domino's. With Domino's Tracker, you know when to expect your pizza. Looking for this? You just have to be there to get it. Yeah. Order and track your pizza with Domino's Tracker. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And hello everybody, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're on the road right here at Scotland Regional Hospice. And we're going to find out about a camp that's coming up. That's right, Camp Spinoza. We're going to find out exactly what that is and how you can come and be involved, right? Right. Got Tanya with me. Tanya, tell me, what is Camp Spinoza? Camp Spinoza is a children's grief camp that we have every year the first weekend in June. And it's for kids ages 5 to 12. Okay. And it's open to any child who's had a loss in the last year, so they wouldn't have to necessarily have had a hospice family member. Okay, uh, so any type of loss that they've experienced, they, right. that allows them. Tell us a little bit of what, more about what Camp Spinoza does. So Camp Spinoza has been around since 1990s, and it started as an off uh, outreach for uh, hospice here in Scotland County to fill the need for reaching out to young people who had lost loved ones. Okay. And I tell you, we're talking about how many people per camp, and it's all free. Right. All right, how many do y'all? We usually have anywhere from 25 to 35 kids, boys and girls, and then we have lots of volunteers. Lots of volunteers, that's right. Now, what, what do they do at these camps? It's a lot of fun, but do they also get some council type? Yes, we have, um, in the fun and games, we kind of do some uh, interactive things with grief. Okay. Um, camp Monroe has a labyrinth that we use with Perfect. the kids. And we have a candle lighting ceremony um, mm -hmm. the evening that we have a big campfire and roast marshmallows and make s'mores. And so it kind of gives yeah. them their own piece to, to make peace and um, accept kind of what's happening. You start to learn to accept what's happening. Yeah, and it's also important to understand that the young people are able to kind of bond with each other. They're, mm -hmm. they're with young people who have lost loved ones as well and you form kind of a small family as yep. each individual cabin. But you also enjoy uh, roasting marshmallows and canoeing and a lot of other opportunities as well. All right, Nora, how long have you been involved with the camp? I think 2000. <laughs> Since uh, a long time ago. Years, <laughs> yeah. so, I think. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's gotten bigger and I'm sure a lot better. You do a lot more with the kids now. At first, uh, we had to really pitch it hard to, yeah. to have things like, for example, campfires yeah. or marshmallow roasting, right. okay. know, fear that somebody might put their eye out. Um, right. But over the years, we've uh, introduced more of a camp experience, and nobody's put their eye out yet. <laughs> okay, so now where, is, where does this take place, and if, how can somebody attend? How can a child attend? Who do they get in touch with? They would get in touch with me here at the hospice office. 
Um, we have applications. Um, there may be an application on the website that they can download at home. Uh, and the school counselors in Scotland County Perfect. have applications, but it's a, it's not Scotland County yeah. only. Right. It's right. Um, anywhere. Right. Now the website. What's the website? You know the website. Dion, what's the website? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We'll run it up on the screen. We'll put, it, we'll put it up on the screen. That's all right. Now, this takes place just, at, at we're Camp just Monroe, the right? Part of it. You're, just, <laughs> we're just the camp. You're just the talent, right? That's, That's what it. they tell us. It's That's fine. Right. Um, this is at Camp Monroe. It is. And tell us about, a little camp bit about Camp Monroe. Uh, camp Monroe has been an asset for our county for a long time, Presbyterian Camp. And um, there's a good balance between just enough of a uh, a meal service, the fried chicken, is amazing and famous uh -oh. there. Sounds good to me. Um, mm -hmm. But also some campfires and a wonderful lake. All, All right. right. The camp's coming up June. June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. And okay. it's also co-sponsored with the Scotland Memorial Foundation. So okay. they help awesome. with That's some of the cost. Fantastic. Thank you all. We Thank appreciate you so it. We'll put, we'll put the you. website up on here where yep. everybody can see. No big deal. All right. All right. You guys stick around. We'll be back. You're watching Carolina & Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Whether you're a local or on your way home from the beach, stop in at exit 184 Laurenburg. Feeling hungry? Then stop in for a quick bite at the Dog House Express. Order up a signature northern, southern, or hand-dipped corn dog. Need to get your car serviced? Then look no further than Haney's Tire and Recapping Service. Once you try us, we're sure you'll be back for more. And if you need a vehicle, stop in at Scotland Motors. You'll find over 400 pre-owned vehicles, and remember, go look at the rest, then come buy from the best. All right, we're at Nick's Pick Quick, and you guys, if you want anything, a snack, lunch, all kinds of stuff, this is the place to go. You can even sit down and eat your lunch, or you can pick it quick and run out the door. They've got fried chicken. And lots of sides. They've got pizza. They've got drinks. They've got nuts. You want an almond? No, thank you. They've got stuff for your car, too. And if you need a pick-me-up, they've got great coffee. Nick's Pick Quick. With 16 locations. One just around the corner from you. The Laurenburg Maxton Airport Industrial Park in Scotland County includes over 4,000 acres of prime industrial sites with almost 1,800 acres ready for industrial and commercial development. The industrial park offers full-service infrastructure that includes a newly renovated runway, plus water, sewer, electric, and natural gas. So whether you're looking to build or simply expanding your current business, we invite you to come join the many businesses that already call the industrial park home. Call today. Looking for a wonderful shopping experience? Then shop downtown Laurenburg. Hungry? Visit 215 on Main for a quick meal. Shirt Tales specializes in personalized garments for school, churches, clubs, and more. Find the perfect tuxedo rental and more at Harley's Tuxedo and Gifts. From trendy to obscure, you can find the perfect gift at Scotland Bling. If it's happening in Scotland County, you'll hear it first on 95.1, your hometown radio, WLNC. Shop downtown Laurenburg. You're watching Carolina & Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Boy, have we had a great time today and ended it up with a little Domino's pizza. Man, That's right. I mean, we've talked to the Chamber today about something they've got going on. and Yeah, else? lots of events coming up in the area, and Chris talked a lot about that. Also, workforce, we talked about that as well. Lots of cool things in this area going on. Right now, though, we're going to grab some lunch. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next Wednesday for On the Road. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW21, or its employees.